Hey everybody, welcome to today's post. Today I want to talk about monkeys. So recently I was in Thailand and I captured some images of monkeys. I did the same in 2014, two years ago when I was there. And I get hit with the same questions today as I did two years ago. People asking me all these different questions and wanting to know about the monkeys. Now, some people have never been to Thailand. They just don't know. And they're like, oh, cool, there's monkeys, you know. And did you pet them? Did you feed them? And just all those kind of questions. And then there's photographer friends that just want to know, well, where did you go to capture the pictures of the monkeys? And what kind of lenses did you use? And were you able to get up close to them? And were they in a zoo? That kind of thing. So I'm making this video to address those two situations. So first, let's talk about, uh, yes, there's monkeys in Thailand. If you've never been there and you just don't know, there are monkeys in Thailand. They're not roaming everywhere in Thailand. You're not going to see monkeys as soon as you step off the airplane. Uh, I've, in my personal situation, I found them in two different places. I found them down on Chang Island, where I've stayed the past two times I've went. I've also seen them up in the hill or mountain areas when you travel along the highway. And they'll come out into the road, so you're actually seeing them. They're out in the middle of the road. Um, they're kind of a problem. You know, you got to wait for them to pass or kind of go around them slowly. So the Thai government protects the monkeys. Uh, it is illegal to kill the monkeys or hurt the monkeys. So with that said, you kind of want to stay away from the monkeys. Now, uh, what the most important thing you need to know about the monkeys are they they're dangerous okay you don't want to get too close to monkeys they can bite you if they bite you they can make you extremely ill and or even kill you and monkeys like to throw stuff they like to throw stuff at each other uh they're no different uh, people are no different they'll throw stuff at people oftentimes you'll hear of uh tourists getting hit with a coconut and depending on how high up the coconut tree is that can you know, injure you pretty bad and or kill you. So you got to be careful. Now, most resorts that have problems with monkeys will have people go up and pull the coconuts off the trees so there are no coconuts up there for them to throw down at you. Uh, anybody that gets hit with a coconut, it is kind of rare. So where I stayed two years ago, I stayed at a resort and it was in a very rural area on Chang Island, Siam Bay. And the monkeys would start around 3.30 in the morning. You would hear them coming down over the mountain. Um, around 4 o'clock, they would appear and work their way through the resort. For the most part, all they did was stay on the rooftops and on the electric wires. Uh, some would come down on the grounds and go into the trash bins or trash cans. So two years ago, I photographed them from right outside my window, like from me to the camera away. I cracked the door open and stuck the camera out, took some images that way. And as the monkey moved away, I opened the door, left the door open so that I could come back in quickly if I needed to. But I took some video and some still shots of the monkeys as they moved away. And I got some really, really good images of the monkeys. And they are nice to look at. And they're just kind of, it's kind of weird, you know, they're, they fight with each other. They're nasty to each other. They'll bite each other, fight, throw stuff, knock each other down. It's nature. It's just the way it is. So um, it's kind of cool to see it. It's after two days, it gets to be annoying. Just imagine like a group of noisy, hoodlum teenage thugs coming through your uh, neighborhood. And that, that's the only way to describe it. It's just like a bunch of noisy teenagers that are just trashing stuff and breaking stuff everywhere they go and fighting with each other as they do it. So that's, that's pretty much um, all I can say about the monkeys there. Just don't feed them, don't bring them close to you. Look at them at a distance and be safe about it and try not, and don't hurt them. You know, don't, definitely don't hurt them because you're gonna get into a lot of trouble in Thailand if you hurt the monkeys or kill them. So with that said, now I'm gonna talk about how I captured the pictures down uh, on Ch off of Chang Island on a speedboat. We're looking for monkeys. My you friend. proud of them? Hey. Yeah. Your friend. Yeah. 
ใส่ไม่มาแล้วบ้างนี่เหมือนเพื่อนไม่มาแล้วแหละบายเนี่ย I think we've spotted some monkeys. We've been sitting here for about five minutes blowing the horn, trying to find them. I think, I think we've spotted them. Okay, so we found some monkeys. Let's see if we can get up here. See them? Yeah, there they come. They're coming down. They're on the rocks. There they are. Okay, I shot these images this year, same as I did uh, 2014 from a speedboat, and I even used the same boat driver because he was that amazing. I, I actually went and sought out and found the same guy again. So he's amazing for the simple fact, well, he saves the fruit rinds and scraps to throw to the monkeys. But he can, I can drive a speedboat. Speedboat is not hard to drive, but to do what he does, which is he feathers the throttle back and forth and keeps the boat in as close. He, he knows, I've instructed him that I need to get as close as I can. Uh, he needs to get close so he can throw the scraps up to the monkeys. But he feathers the throttle back and forth while we're there. Meanwhile, you got the, the up and down of the water two hits into those rocks and you know you're even one good hit into the rocks and you could ruin the bottom of the boat so it's kind of a dangerous little situation but the other big thing is he's keeping an eye out that the monkeys do not jump onto the boat and we're only there for about six minutes eight minutes i think if i looked at the times that i shot the from the beginning shot to the end shot it's eight minutes and the reason you can't stay too much longer than that is because this is the first wave of monkeys. More monkeys are coming. So you gotta be, you're not gonna have enough food for all the monkeys. And if you don't have enough food for them, they are gonna start to jump onto the boat and everything like that. So it's like a kind of, you get in there, you get your shot and you get out of there. Now, what, what did I use? I used uh, the 6D, I used the 70 to 200 Mark II lens, racked out at like, 200 sometimes down to 140 I think something like that and I shot in shutter priority the only time this year that I've used shutter priority shot in shutter priority at 116 1 1/16th of a second and I would set it at auto ISO and just let the camera take care of the depth of field and the ISO I also went over to aperture priority and an aperture priority, I set it for 7.1 or 8. Actually, most of them were 7.1. Uh, that is the sweet spot on that lens. So for detail, extreme detail, uh, 7.1 is the sweet spot. And an aperture priority with auto ISO, it would put me somewhere around uh, like 1 60th to 200th of a second. 200th was, was the fastest. And moving up and down and moving back and forth and in and out and everything, uh, one two hundredth of a second is not that fast. So it's kind of a spray and pray type situation. And I don't like spray and pray. That's something that's not my nature to do that. But in this situation, it's really the only way to try to capture a good image. I actually came away with more good images in 2014 when I didn't really pay as much attention to what I was doing. This time I was paying more attention to my settings and I still didn't come away. It was just, there wasn't the amount of monkeys there to choose from. Uh, last time I had a mother and a baby, that was really nice. So anyway, that was how I did it. 
and you've seen it there in the footage. Um, it wasn't an easy situation, but it's still a lot of fun, and the girls had a lot of fun as well. I think the boat driver has a lot of fun. He, um, I hired him again, and I specifically sought him out, and when he heard from his boss who was seeking him out, he didn't really remember, but when he came to pick me up in the morning, he actually came right to my hut, and when he seen my camera bag, he instantly remembered. He remembered the camera bag, and then he seen me. He seen me before he seen the camera bag, but when he seen the camera bag, he was just like jumping for joy because he remembered uh, what a great time we had the last time that we were out, and it was amazing. So his name is Guy. Um, I, I'm not, not Guy as in G, uh, U, Y, but guy is in like G A I. He's a Vietnamese boy, and he works for the speedboat hut, Kai Bay Speedboat Hut. So if you're ever there, ask for him. He's amazing, amazing guy. my speedboat driver up there in the tree.